Hello again and welcome to the Neural Premier League Highlights Show Match Day 21. There's a big one on the cards. Here are the highlights. A top five battle, fourth versus fifth. Expecting a fun one here. Bugbrood get things going immediately. Second minute goal. Ryan Valerpins is number 16 for him. He's their leading scorer and he hits it across his body for the opening goal. Shortcastle looking to an answer, but they have their pocket picked. And on the immediate counter, Valentinsis finds Robbie coming on the long ball to make it 2-0. It would get worse. Ten minutes later, Tosi Wallace cleans up a rebound to make it 3 for Bugbeard. They just would pepper the Shortcastle goal with chances, and the Herons had no answer for it. Ryan Valertwins is here on the attack, fires from 20 yards out and buries it for his second of the game. It's 4-0 after 35 minutes. Bugbrood outshot Shortcastle 16-8 in this game. And here's one of those eight chances. Luke O'Reilly forcing a great save from Peck Yelp to keep his clean sheet. And three minutes after that chance, the 59th minute, Vela Twinses places a perfect ball once again to Robbie Cummins for his second of the game. An absolute rout. Finishes up 5-0. Reemp and Hamworth both on the uptick. Three and two game winning streaks respectively. And the debut goal scorer for Reemp starts us off early. The defender, Lazis Brazozzi, playing midfield. He gets up for the header from Phil Verptather to open the scoring for the home side. And that's not it. Two minutes later, fifth minute, another first goal of the season. Trey Lahani buries it after James Blanchilke's header is laid down for a clean finish. Hamworth are on the ropes before they could even get started. 24th minute, Trey Lahani looks for his second, but it falls to Brazozzi with a wide open goal mouth to make it 3-0. Second half, cross from Hamworth comes in. Ricky Yeaveo's header hits the crossbar, but Ali Kamananga is able to finish, and it's a 3-1 game with time to play. Ah, but it was not to be Trey Lahani. Couldn't get his second in the first half, but he gets it now. Ryan Coney Woody off the bench provide it. And it's 4-1, and Reap are rolling. Again, no such luck for Ricky Aveo, but Kamananga is in the right place to tap in a second goal off the goal post. Hamworth still drop points. Reap win their fourth straight game. And here it is, the matchup of the weekend. Possibly the matchup of the season. Watching Chester and Brune dominating the Premier League like they did the second division last year. And Kiko Berry starts things off in the sixth minute with goal number 25. Darren Pran giving him the assist, and you can't help but assume from that place that he will score. Ah, but here come the Spooners. Jack Penton Taparame forces a fantastic save from Kyle Schneidt, but he's there to tap in his own rebound while the keeper is prone, and we are all tied up. Brun would then take the lead at the end of the half, and what a finish here from Tyler Kosoloff to take the lead. He stretches and makes contact to bury this one for his 18th goal of the season. Second half sees the Swans tie it up once again. Berry returns the favor for Darren Pran, and we are all square it to a piece. Remember, this game went 5-3 to three in favor of watching Chester City back in the second week of the season. Would we see a repeat? Wachinchester started to press and pepper the goal, but a great save here to deny Zakip Clay. Ah, but there would be a winner in the 72nd minute. Taparame links up with Kosoloff and Kyle Schneidt with a nightmare he will want to forget. Bobbles the shot, it trickles over the line. That would be enough, and Brune are suddenly level at the top of the table with Wachinchester City. Well, goalkeepers were the stars in this one, but Chaputa for Pegasus and Reen both go winless in five games after a thrilling one-all draw. Not the result either side could have used, though.
Ninth place, Scott Montworth Greenford pick up a big win on the road against Great Church St. Olivet's Old Boys. Jamabi Brofman with a pair of goals brings his total to 14 this season. Chances came at a premium as Hurgle United dropped points to 14th place. Blutton United 1-0 with Romerman Dunko getting the only goal. Hurgle have now lost three of their last four. Raketown are now unbeaten in six games. They put four goals past Manchurch Victorias to give them their st second straight loss. Callan McShanner with a pair of goals led the Renegades to a big road win at the Shoons. own goal and a second half goal from Toby Agish propel Marshall Mops to a comeback win over 17th place Shoesworth who have now lost their third straight and continue to struggle. Everbridge United are back to their winning ways with a 1-0 win at the Rookery Ovalex against St. Cuthbert's Lane Athletic. Melly Mendy's sixth goal of the season is the only one on the score sheet as Aberbridge have now won five of their last six. And a pair of first half goals with some help from Keith Kushkus in goal gave Tudley Town a win in a crucial relegation battle with Cumble Sumsterworth. Cumble Sumsterworth have now lost their sixth straight game. Well, with scores like that, take a look at this. Brune are now tied on points and on goal differential with watching Chester City. Bug Brune have jumped Hurgle United to third place. Abergrove United are back up to seventh. And it's a log jam at the bottom, but Tudley Town jumped four spots from 19th to 15th, bumps everyone else down one and sets Chooseworth into the bottom three. Second division tables look like this. The top five unchanged. Frumston United up to sixth. And padding cores all the way up from 12th to 8th. And in the bottom half, Shaftesbury Cross are down three spots to 14th place. Odd Downians continue to crawl up out of the bottom from 17th to 15th. Third division tables look like this. Small movements at the top. Kivery Winchington are up to fifth. Bunteboro and St. Leonard's Omen are each up another spot. And it's tight at the bottom as Brick Homsey, Paperfield, and Chiblin Athletic each jump up four spots to 12th and 13th. Everything else unchanged. That's it for us this week. We'll see you again next week. Goodbye for now.